Hi everybody, you are listening to 31 Days of Horror, a series of blogs and podcasts where every day for 31 days from October the 1st till October the 31st, you will be taken on a ride through 31 film experiences, unlike the typical list of movies that you come to expect from the Halloween season. 31 Days of Horror is officially sponsored by Infernal Imagery. Visit InfernalImagery.com throughout October 2018 and receive 20% off your purchases by using the offer code 31DAYS. Today's tea of the day is... Frog Brothers Vampire Hunters Kit. That's offer code 31DAYS for 20% off at InfernalImagery.com. Hello and welcome to day two. Day two, Andy. Yes, day two. Day two. Smashing it. Yeah. Oh, I feel invincible, don't you? Oh, always. Yeah. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about Carnival of Souls. And, yes. Uh, yeah. And one of, the, one of the older films on the list. It is one of it's one of the oldest. It's um, a 1962 film directed by Herc Harvey, starring Candace Hilgos, Francis Feast, and Sidney Berger. As well as Art Ellison. Some names I can actually pronounce, which is good. That's good. Always yeah. a good start. Yeah, I do struggle on a lot of these. I'm going to really struggle on Dar. So, uh, after a traumatic ac- accident... Sorry. After a traumatic accident, a woman becomes drawn to a mysterious abandoned carnival. And that's yes. only a bit of the story, really, because she, she literally um, survives a near-death experience. Yes. Yeah. The rest of the passengers die. And, uh, and then she takes her... her career as an organist to a, t- a small town just to get over it i guess as you do as you do yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> she starts seeing a psychiatrist doesn't she she does yeah because she starts seeing uh things start yeah um it's almost as if nobody can see her she's invisible to the world around her and um Probably. she can't because uh, there are there are a few moments in this film where she's just walking around and, and she's being ignored she's just completely invisible it's like a twilight zone episode right um, so yeah, she's drawn to this abandoned carnival, and there's and, and it's all it, we feel as though it's all connected to her accident and her trauma, and we think it could be post-traumatic stress. Mm. Um, but uh, there's a lot more going than we realise. Now uh, it's it's uh, black and white, but it was also colorized. Did you watch the colorized version? No, black, black and white. And white. Watch it. What do you reckon to Carnival of Souls, Andy? Okay, when I watched it, I was rather drunk <laughs> yes <laughs> oh that's the way to start i love it he's committed I, i'm sh- i'm sure he's he's gonna g- well, give the same yeah, treatment I'm, to all of these movies i'm, I'm going yeah that's it, it. This should be it forget drunken history let's just do drunken horror film oh, reviews that sounds fantastic let's do it that sounds, you're not drunk now but you no, know no, but you no. were when you watched the film so that's you know that's gonna yeah, affect so it's bit, how you remember it <laughs> yeah so it's a bit sketchy i don't know why alf was in it <laughs> Alpha. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I actually enjoyed it. Yeah, I saw it was a bit it's disjointed. Very disjointed, yeah. Yeah. It, like we say, there there are moments where the world around her is not responding to her yeah. and uh there are moments where she's we're in a different movie where she's struggling with men. There's that kind of repulsion thing mm. about um her relationship with men. Um yeah, she she starts seeing this this um strange zombie character. Who's just lurking, yeah, in mirrors on the stairways, you know, kind of like you kept really delivering leaflets, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a decent um, horror. I mean, it's a it's a it's a nice black and white. I mean, when when you think of black and white horror, that I think the innocence. You think the innocence. Yeah, you know, there's the house on haunted hill, the the, the haunting, haunting. Yeah, all those classic Vincent Price ones. So this, I wanted it to find something that was a little less known. But when you put it in comparison with them, where do you think it sits? 
Um, it's disturbing. I mean, it has it has more of a sense of repulsion, like yeah. I mentioned. That that um, it, it's uh, again, it's a strong female lead. A lot of those have strong female leads. The Innocents, in particular. Um, yeah. It seems that black and white horror. If it wasn't Vincent Price and Pri Vincent Price and Christopher Lee, you know, predominantly they were a very strong female. Yeah, um, I suppose they were more Hammer Horror. Yeah, well, they these were. Are a yeah, bit, these are different. This is more cerebral. This yeah. is a little bit more psychological. This is it, back in the day. This probably would have really gotten under your skin. Yeah. This, like the Babadook, it would have affected you. So that's the sixties Babadook. The sixties Babadook. Yeah. That's what it should say. <laughs> <laughs> Carnival of Souls, the nineteen sixties Babadook. But you know, nothing like it. No, but nothing like it at all. It's nothing to do with anything to do with that. Um, it's this is more of um. This is more like, I I, I don't know. It, it it's it definitely stands on itself on its yeah. own. It's um, there's no real sense in, of of danger for her. No, there's no, no real sense of doom. Which, if you had that, it might be a little bit more interesting. I think you know you. Know, you I I worried more about the the fella who was after her. Yeah. More than the the zombie, the white zombie creatures. But um, in the end, it all it all works out for them. Yeah, bless them. Yeah. Um, well, like I said, with The Innocence, I can watch The Innocence and it still gets under my skin and I still yeah. find that genuinely creepy. Mm -hmm. You know, with this, it was like an enjoyable film, but I didn't really feel that unnerved by it or anything. That's good. It, it's very... Because I was drunk. <laughs> but it's all daylight as well. There's not a lot of darkness. It's not a very dark film. It's no, a very... It's, no, that's right. it's a very... Um, balanced it's a very balanced image of light on the yeah. screen and uh there's not really a lot of dark corners not creeping i mean um i'd say a, a better film in the in the 50s would be experiment in terror which was really dark kind of like when a, when a stranger calls but a little bit darker yeah a little bit more uh, threatening with better actors with better actors <laughs> there are mannequins in that as well so um i'm gonna have to, mannequins I'm, in the stranger I'm, calls wasn't there? yeah i think it was um oh lee remick Right. I think she was in it, and she wore this I coat. A, I had a, I had a student who died from that. <laughs> oh, this is only day two. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I think. Day two. So yeah, um, it's so it's okay, but it's not a classic. It's not not looking at a classic here. No, I don't think so. No, The Innocence would have been a classic. It's a classic. It is. Yeah, it is. A, That's a strong film. Yeah, and there's no creepy kids singing songs about willow trees. That's true. The soundtrack really was a bit of a miss on this. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. Well, it, interesting. You land on the. It's it's very bright and very light and not dark. That would be nice to see a horror film that was very bright and light and light, but still scary. Are there any? Have we missed any? I don't know. Mm. This was Triangle, which we'll get to. It's yeah. quite light. It's pretty daylight there. Yeah, but... Is it? yeah. It's the whole um, the anti seven movie we're looking for here, yeah, yeah. Where, where we can actually see stuff and no rain and no rain and no Brad Pitt eating the hot dogs. Yeah, yeah, and no, no, no Kaiser Sauce. <laughs> Kaiser <laughs> right, name? Kevin Spacey, Nazi boy. Yeah, so so there we go, Carnival Souls. That's more like a Twilight Zone episode. Yeah, I think that's the the right way to look at it. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Good. So there we go, Andy. That's okay. day two. See you tomorrow. Time for some words from our sponsor. 31 Days of Horror is officially sponsored by Infernal Imagery. Visit infernalimagery.com throughout October 2018 and receive 20% off your purchases by using the offer code 31 days. Today's tea of the day is Frog Brothers Vampire Hunters Kit. That's offer code 31 days for 20% off at infernalimagery.com.